My name is George Alexopoulos and I'm the team leader of Team Pegasus from the University of Southampton. We are the first team from the United Kingdom to ever try and participate in the University Rover Challenge. This is our team and we're going to show you our progress and development and we're looking forward to meet you in the US. So our design philosophy is based on two principles. One, building a robust and simple rover and two, building an early prototype to identify areas to improve to be successful. So for the suspension, we decided to implement the rocker bogey mechanism as this ensures continuous and equal traction on all six wheels. The reason we opted for this suspension arrangement is due to its simplicity and the small number of parts. Having reviewed the tasks for the competition and evaluating different design concepts, we decided to go with a 5 degree of freedom robotic arm which combines linear actuators and DC motors. We built a prototype in December where we had evaluated the performance of the robotic arm which in turn allowed us to improve the design where we achieved a weight reduction of 50%. We are currently at the stage of testing different end effector designs to choose the most suitable one for the tasks. Currently, we are in the final stages of manufacturing with most of our components being manufactured here at the university's workshop. We are using a combination of rapid prototyping techniques such as 3D printing and laser cutting to test different design concepts before sending the final designs to be machined out of aluminium. So the FPGA is going to be handling all the different I.O. that we're going to have in our system. This allows the real-time processor to have more resources available to handle all the sorts of different algorithms. Now, one of the most vital parts of this project is the communications. We aim to tackle this by using ubiquity hardware. So for example, we're going to be having a big antenna on our base station paired with a Rocket M2 and then on our rover we're going to have one of those together with two omnidirectional antennas. Now the communication is going to be done via TCP IP, connecting the actual SBU of I Ethernet to the actual Rocket M2. We are using LabVIEW to control our SB Rio, which will be our main controller. The SB Rio has a real-time module and FPGA module, which gives us the ability to run the code deterministically and achieve true parallelism. The vision subsystem developed can be configured for two different scenarios based on the tasks the rover will be performing. The first configuration is used for teleoperation, which allows us to directly stream monochrome video to the base station, whereas the autonomous traversal task cameras provide autonomous navigation using stereoscopic depth perception. We are using a modular approach for coding. That is, we have made a code for each subsystem on its own and have tested each of them rigorously. This provides a more efficient approach of code integration. Onboard sensors on the rover would include a soil probe, which consists of a temperature sensor, a pH sensor, and also a soil moisture sensor. The rover will use an auger to collect soil samples so that the differing soil compactness at MDRS does not impede soil collection. Uh, we will uh, also use air and watertight sterile plastic containers to both store and retrieve the soil sample. We are performing a wide, wide range of uh, experiments in the base station to account for the vast variety of biomarkers that might be present in the soil. We will be mainly testing for um, proteins and lipids using staining and fluorescence microscopy. Um, we will use a commercial off-the-shelf NPK test kits to uh, test for nitrates, phosphates and potassium and we will also use hydrochloric acid to test for carbonates in the soil which would, which would in turn help us uh, identify the presence of uh, aquatic mi uh, microbes. None of this would have been possible if we didn't have the support from our numerous sponsors. We would like to thank all the companies that supported us, but also the University of Southampton who is willing to cover expenses to travel in the US. We hope you enjoyed the video and we are looking forward to seeing you in the US.